One of the discussions this week in the European Parliament is about Hungary. And Peter von Kohl has been following the situation very closely. Peter, what's been happening in Hungary and why is Europe so concerned? First of all, we should notice this is not the first time that things are going in a what we would call a wrong direction in Hungary. A former prime minister tried already from the Socialist Party to uh, make so-called reforms which were not um, very nice to the idea we have of uh, maintaining human rights within a country. Um, this time it's a bit too much to the Europeans, especially to both the Council of Europe, which has 47 member states, among them Hungary, uh, and the European Union with its uh, 28 member states, where Hungary is, or was at least, a very respectable country. So what exactly has been happening in Hungary then? That the Prime Minister Orban has tried to change uh, the constitution in a, a special way. Or not only tried to, but he managed to. Even the President, to many people's astonishment, signed these uh, changes. Um, it concerned, for instance, the press freedom. Um, now it's not a free press anymore in uh, Hungary. It um, um, put restrictions on uh, minority rights, which is a very um, sensitive issue in Hungary. And it uh, put some limits on judges. Um, they were not allowed, or are not anymore allowed, to be in uh, their position as a judge when they reach the age of 70. And it's a fact that you need knowledge, especially among judges. Um, and uh, you can't just say at a certain age, now we don't need your, your knowledge, especially in that sector. So what is the European Union going to do about uh, uh, Hungary? Are they going that's to, what uh, all to throw them out? To, that's what we're all waiting to see. At the moment, there are two commissions working and very interesting, cooperating their efforts. It's from the Council of Europe, the so-called Venice Commission, which is looking upon the um, fundamental rights, the um, human rights in, uh, in every member country. And the European uh, Commission, um, they are together trying to persuade the uh, Prime Minister Orban uh, to roll back what he did. I think, from what I listened to his remarks, um, that's not a, um, a position he will take to roll anything back. He will stick to it. He is not realizing that people are not anymore accepting a prime minister doing whatever he likes. We see it in Turkey. Um, we have a lot of examples at the moment. People are aware of their power and they're simply not accepting what's going on. Here they are backed up by the Commission of the European Union and of the Council of Europe. But the question is what to do if they don't accept what they are told to do in uh, Budapest. Then I believe there's only one possibility, that the European Union, which because of its econ economy, financial strength, uh, can do something, impose some kind of financial uh, sanctions on Hungary. So say within that and that time limit, you have to react and in a positive way. Do you think we'll see the European Parliament taking those decisions this week? It, no, but it has to do something. It has come too far forward. It has to do something concrete. That could be to say to the uh, Hungarian delegation or uh, members of the European Parliament, fair enough, you can still have your seat, but we are not accepting you voting. That could be a sanction within the European Parliament. The Commission could say, you're getting quite a lot of money. We know that you are in deep, deep financial troubles at the moment. Uh, we're not going to help you unless you do this and that. We watch the, we'll watch the situation with interest, Peter. Thank you very much.